When you go to Wabash and you meet these people and you see how important they are to each other, this is what we want this country to be about. I think we are all hungry right now for this kind of unique collaborative community. And it's alive and well in this town. And it's beautiful. I felt like I realized something I didn't know I was missing. There is something amazing about people knowing you, people wanting to know you more. And I feel blessed to have just been a part of it and to have learned from it. We're gonna show other small towns that it's about supporting your small businesses and supporting your neighbors. That's what can make your town great again. Small towns across the country are fighting for their survival with the odds stacked against them. But what happens if we join that fight? If we dedicate a little money, a lot of experience, and thousands of hours of work into one small town, focusing on the businesses at the heart of their main street. Nearly 10,000 people wrote in to tell us about their favorite community, and the country voted for one winner. Now, marketing expert Amanda Brinkman and her team at Deluxe are going to work for the people of Wabash, Indiana, and they brought along entrepreneur Robert Hershevek to help revitalize the town. Every episode, we're working with a new small business to see if we can change the odds, if together we can start a revolution. Hey there everybody, Wade Weaver here, 105.9 The Bash, giving you the rundown of an action-packed day here in Wabash. Tonight, we're going to bid a fond farewell to the team. There's going to be food, speeches, surprises, and I'm told, champagne. And if all that doesn't get you there, I don't know what's going to. We're going to hate to see these guys go, but let's send them out in style tonight at the Honeywell. Robert Hershevek is with us from uh, Shark Tank and uh, Amanda Brinkman from Deluxe. What a great gift you gave to Wabash. Seriously, what oh, a great gift. Absolutely. Well, I feel like the real prize here is that you guys have a renewed sense of pride for who you are as a community and as mm -hmm. a town. I mean, you see that. You walk around. Every, even the businesses we're not involved with, people are excited. And it's really rewarding. You get to actually see a tangible result. Could you please give us like one little parting shot of advice? One thing I've learned is just because you come from a small town doesn't mean you should think small. My biggest piece of advice is to not let that flame flicker. You know, see the small business revolution as just kind of that, that spark that got things going. And isn't an end when we leave. It's, it's, it's just kind of the beginning of the new era of Wabash, Indiana. Thank you. Thank you for doing what you guys have done for this community. Thank you. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. All right. Robert Hershevik and Amanda Brinkman. This morning down at the Honeywell Center, members of the Deluxe team have flown in and they're giving a workshop on marketing for small businesses. So if you're an entrepreneur or if you think you might be one one day, don't miss this one. We knew from the beginning we'd only be able to work really closely with six businesses, but we wanted to have an effect on more of the small businesses in town. Email marketing is the best return on investment that you can make in your business. We wanted to figure out a way to scale our marketing advice to more small business owners within Wabash. So bringing the team down from Deluxe felt like a great way for not only the people who have been working on the marketing for the small businesses to meet the small business owners they've been working so hard for, but for the town to benefit from that marketing expertise. I'm going to talk about what is your marketing style. It is vitally, critically important to understand who your customer is. Anything that we can get just helps all of us just to be excited about our town, you know, again. So it's not just about downtown, it's about all of us. I've been in Wabash for 44 years. When we first moved here, there were a lot of stores downtown. And then all of a sudden we lost a big uh, industry. And that hurts any city when you lose an industry. And some of the places just went out of business and then you saw a lot of empty buildings. And we don't see that now. It's a great thing for us. <laughs> there have been hard times here. Our town has gone through so many ups and downs. We don't want to see us go through a down again. We are at a rallying point. For a long time, Wabash was failing. And, you know, we're not there yet, but we're getting there. And I feel like this is just really 
started that fire to make people work a little bit harder and a little bit harder. It's so incredible to see the way the people of Wabash have responded to this project. And we're hoping that some of that knowledge and excitement carries into the future. But we also want to leave behind some more tangible changes. We've been working all summer long with local contractors, making physical improvements, not just to the individual businesses, but to the downtown. I mean, 10 years ago, nobody would have came and stayed downtown Wabash, you know, and, and been out walking around. There was nothing to walk around and see. And we hope to keep the ball rolling. It doesn't just stop after, you know, you guys leave town. We hope people here in town will take hold of this and start to leading on it too. I mean, you talk to people anywhere and like, what the heck's going on in Wabash? You can't even drive through town. There's so many forklifts and lifts working on buildings and painting. It's just been crazy. I think the momentum is already there and it's building and it's building and it's building. And I think this will take us years from now. You'll still see that impact. Christine has been running the show from the Wabash end. And she also was the one to give us our very first tour of the town. So we're meeting back up with her for one last tour to see what we've accomplished together. Well, as you both remember, Deluxe had these really great kind of a set of projects that could help make our community more bright, vibrant. And so some of the projects that we were able to work on over the summer months um, were these signs you see hanging here. I love these here. signs. We had nothing for pedestrians. So these hanging signs really connect the pedestrian to the stores. Deluxe hired us to design and build and install these signs. You know, they should be there forever. And it's really cool to walk around and see our handiwork on every downtown building. It's really cool. Another one of the projects that we had identified to work on this summer was the alley walk. <gasps> there was no color. I That's love the heart of Indiana. It's friendlier. It feels it, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It feels friendlier. Look at the To you! Yeah. Oh, wow. So to Deluxe. This is a surprise to me, because it's the only thing I don't know about. We wanted to thank that Small Business Revolution. You know, you're not just making communities prettier. Um, you're changing communities. Thank you for saying that. It's true. You're changing lives. It's beautiful. And one of the other things that we were really excited about was this building that unfortunately wasn't taken care of and had to be raised several years ago. Um, the building that stood there was called the Mammoth Building. We worked really hard this summer and transformed one of the busiest corners in downtown oh, cool. Wabash to a really great public gathering space. This was a lot that had been kind of an eyesore for the town for several years, so it was a good opportunity to do something. It's right here where you pull into the main part of town. You know, when, when I first heard about the stuff Deluxe was doing, a lot of other business owners that weren't right downtown, we thought, why pump all that money into the downtown? It's not gonna benefit anybody else, but I've got 37 people that work for me. It wasn't what I thought, and that it actually is going to other places other than the downtown, and it's pretty cool. The trickle-down effect is huge, from Deluxe to me, to the subcontractors, to the merchants, um, and then the consumer, ultimately. Yeah, it's been huge. Very proud to be part of it. 20 years from now, just coming by and seeing people sitting out there, you know, on the patio, doing stuff like that, it's, it'll be gratifying. And that's what, you know, we all want, is just improvements, one step at a time. So if you remember, one of the things you said we had in our town was a gold mine, and it was? The Honeywell Center. The Honeywell Center. And you had talked to us about making sure that we connected with the 270,000 plus people that walk in these doors every Such a year. Benefit. Right. And so what I was going to ask you both, how do you feel about doing a plug for the town of Wabash? Let's do I'd it. I'd love to do it. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, okay, ready. let's go. All right. Are we ready? Yeah, let's, ready. let's roll it. Hi, this is Robert Herjavac from Shark Tank with my friend Amanda Brickman from Deluxe. I said your name wrong. <laughs> I know I said. This town is incredible. A historic downtown, great restaurants, incredible shopping. You can do a lot of stuff here. What's the first line? This town is incredible. Tons of unique shops and restaurants and some of the most welcoming people you'll ever meet. So come explore Wabash. We know you'll love it here. What do you think? Good? It's okay, great. nice. Watching Christine work, I'm consistently amazed by her energy, her intelligence, and her commitment to this town. She's really been Wabash's champion since day one. As much as anyone, Christine is going to be the person who takes what we've started here and carries the torch forward. So we want to sit down with her one more time and make sure that she has all the tools she needs to help Wabash succeed.
You do such an amazing job promoting Wabash and promoting tourism, but one of the things I've noticed is that if you're driving on 24 or even 31, you might miss downtown Wabash, right? Because there's no directional signage, there's nothing telling you that there's this beautiful historic downtown just a mile down the road. So we thought it would be fun to buy some billboards for you. <gasps> Much needed. Yeah. Oh my yes. goodness. You like to see what they might look like? Please. Okay. This one shows a great picture of historic downtown. Thank you, assistant. <laughs> <Voila. laughs> and then this one has a little bit more of the, it plays up the winner of the small business revolution. Mm -hmm. It's such a great idea. I remember the very first time I came here, I didn't know I was in Wabash until I literally in, it. Yeah. in sure. Wabash. So right. these are really going to give an audience the opportunity to con consider idea. Wow, I've got 14 miles. Let me Google this place. What's mm -hmm. what's around here? Exactly. You know, and get online. Far and enough out when people are starting to plan where they're going to have the lunch or the dinner. Mm -hmm. So even if they don't stop, we definitely want to leave them with the impression that there's a beautiful historic downtown in Wabash. Mm -hmm. That is going to make a huge difference. We're also going to put out of home billboards in Peru and Kokomo, in Mexico, North Manchester, um, but all along 24 and 31. Why are all the towns named? <laughs> As though we're in Central or South America. <laughs> I don't know. It's something very interesting about... I, I don't have an answer. I just had a great tagline for the town of Wabash. It's the first town to have electricity. Mm -hmm. So how about this on the billboards? What do you have now as a tagline? Visit... Call to action. It's, it's a call it, to action. It's good. It's a, it's... But how about this? Here's what the billboard in front of Mexico should say. You ready? We have better tequila than you. <laughs> Come get lit in Wabash. Well, hey, no. That's you actually really the, good. Do you get it? Do you get I it? I do get it. Get I do get it. You know, Robert and I and the Deluxe team, we all spend a lot of time working with small businesses. But what we've been doing here is honestly new territory. None of us have ever worked on a whole town before. So before the party starts, we have one last stop to make. Back to Modoc's Coffee to talk with unofficial town elder Steve Downs. I want to ask him how he did, how he feels about what's happened in Wabash, and what he thinks the future looks like for his town. This has been a great process. I can't believe it's almost over. The most significant thing that comes away from this is the impact you've made on the small businesses. I talked about validating what you've done for the city but what you have really done is validated our small business owners. They now are feeling much better about themselves than they were before. So out of anything that's been accomplished here, you've done that. That's wonderful. It's been wonderful. Yeah. So you know, from the beginning, we wanted to be able to make an impact here. But when you think about it, you know, $500,000 is a lot to invest in one community, but it can't solve for everything. No. How do you feel this is setting Wabash up for the future? Has this been the springboard you hoped it would be? Actually, it's far exceeded our expectations. It's going to be easier to attract more people to the community. You know, there is something too about that next generation, seeing no if question. we can get those kids excited about it and seeing the value. And that's really a new attitude. I mean, for years mm -hmm. and years, young people couldn't wait to get out of town. Mm -hmm. Now that's starting to change, but it wasn't always like that. What I'm worried about is we're going to have a little letdown when you all leave. But I'm confident that what you have done is going to make a lasting impression on this community and its citizens. No it'll be hard for it. us to leave, too. I mean, it'll be with mm -hmm. heavy heart that we drive out. You know, I, I feel like the thing that's going to give me comfort is that when I get in my car and I drive away, I don't see this as an end of anything. I would agree with you wholeheartedly. I feel good about the work that we've done here. And isn't it great in life when you can do good with good people mm and have good results. Absolutely. And, and I think you guys will make it what it is. We're getting there. Thank you. And it's not a small way. You've had a major impact on us. You really have. This town and these people have had such an incredible impact on my life, on my team. It just felt like we couldn't possibly leave without having a moment to stop and thank the town for how welcoming they've been how responsive they've been to the changes, to thank all the people that have helped make it possible. It just felt like the right way to leave and also encourage them to not let this be the end, but to just be the beginning of that next stage of Wabash. You know what I've learned out of this is small towns contain those bonds that make people want to do even harder. These people want to succeed 
not just for their family, their business, but for the entire community. Okay, we're ready to start the program. Waiters and waitresses will be passing out glasses of champagne. We approach this celebration or this final event with really, really mixed emotions. Finale means that all of these people are leaving us. We just simply hate to see this come to an end. This is a small town almost in the middle of nowhere and it's been struggling for years. It's been losing population. It's been losing employment and yet all of the citizens of Wabash continue to increase their efforts to improve life in Wabash, Indiana. We know now that with you leaving, the hard work really starts. We now have to put into action the lessons and the advice you have given us. We will work to make you proud. We have no doubt about that. It's incredible the community that you guys have and the support that you were able to get together. I hope, if anything, during this time, we gave you a glimpse into something that's possible. You can do anything you want. Congratulations and thank you. When we're walking down the streets, you guys stop us and you thank us. But it is I who want to thank you. I see the faces of people who have become like a second family. I feel like I'm coming home. How do you do that? At Deluxe, we work with small businesses every day. We love small businesses. But it has been going on this journey alongside you that has made us realize that this was the right town. Can I have Christine come to the stage? All right, so Christine. For someone who spends her entire life making other people's lives better, I'd like to give you $10,000. We want this to continue to help you in your work to bring tourism into Wabash, Indiana. Steve, join me at center stage, please. We'd like to give you $20,000. It's incredibly important that entrepreneurship stay alive in Wabash. It's wonderful, it's wonderful. In the grand scheme of things, we've been here such a short period of time. I never expected Wabash to feel so much like home, but I guess that's really what makes this town unique. Not just that they have something special here, but that they can make you feel like you're truly a part of it. All right, this is to Wabash. Again, thank you. I mean it when I say that you have changed our lives. And it's without hyperbole that I declare that Wabash may just be the greatest place on earth. <laughs> Cheers. 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 We are all sad to see you go, but now is the time when the real work starts. It's time to get down to business and use those tools that they have now equipped us with to make it happen. Well, we don't stop, and we just keep plugging along, and it's a long process. That's how you get things done. Downtown may never come back to the way it used to be, but it's certainly going to be better than it has been over the last uh, few decades. But it's going to get there, I think. It's going to get there. I think this town has uh, grown a lot tighter knit uh, than we even were before. Harry's been very emotional. There's nothing wrong with that, seriously. Like, they just made your dream come true. We will be that affirmation to, they're real. Get out there and vote because this can happen to your town too. And I am excited to see this going forward for the next town that will be picked. Yeah, because we're going to be nosy as heck. Yeah, when that's going on. Yeah, we're going to be watching their voting and of course, you know, looking to see who's, who's working hard at it and who's losing sleep at it. It's definitely been one of the most monumental things that have ever happened in our life. I'm going to be sad to go. But somehow there's a comfort in just knowing that Wabash is here. That after we leave, these people are going to go back to their quietly compassionate lives. And I also have a feeling I'm going to be back. <laughs>